Ooh, six minutes. Okay, the radical 32. Uh, guys, I told you last time, we just write, figure out your square numbers. The square root of 1 equals 1. The square root of 4 equals 2. The square root of 9 equals 3. The square root of 16 equals 4. The square root of 25 equals 5. The square root of 36 equals 6. So to figure this out, we write, what is the largest number that goes into 32 out of all of these? 16, right? 25 <laughs> is under 20, 32, but it doesn't evenly divide. So what I can do is I can rewrite this as 16 times 2 without mathematically changing the problem. Now I can break it apart into 16 times 16 times 2. The square root of 16 is 4 times radical 2. Now let's say that makes absolutely no sense to you. You don't understand why we're going to choose these. Remember we were dealing with our factoring, right? Remember doing our factoring? Yes, right? Yeah. So here's an alternative web method for you guys to use. You don't really like factoring. Factor 32. Get practice again with factoring. So this is going to be all under my radical. Okay. So 32, just rewrite it. We can break it down into 16 times 2, which can be rewritten as 4 times 4, 2 times 2, times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay? Does everybody see that? Now, here's where it kind of gets a little sense. So this is all under a radical. So I could rewrite 32 as, you know, the square root of 2 times 2 times 2, right? Well, what's 2 times 2? That's what? 4. What, well, what's the square root of 4? 2, right? So what I can do is I'm going to take the grouping and I'm going to pull them out. So that's 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So now I have 2 times 2, and then what's left over? I have one more square root of 2, right? So my final answer is 2 times 2, which is 4, times radical 2, because that's the number. So you always take it out when you're dealing with square roots, you group them as pairs of 2s, because a number by itself, squared, is going to give you just that number. Okay? So that's an alternative method for you guys to use. All right.